back with Bobby and JJ Radio. We actually have a third show host, Mr. Adam Hetrick of the Credit Repairman. Thanks for hanging out with us, Mr. Adam. Thank you. Happy to be here. I'm happy that you're here. I'm glad we're doing this YouTube video because you've lost a tremendous amount of weight. I don't dude. even know you right now. I know. Yeah. It's it's like I'm 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 glad that this new video going out there because you're a different Adam. Yeah, no, I just, I really wanted to buy new clothes. Is that what it was? Yeah, and so I'm like, oh, to justify it, I had already bought a bunch of suits, sure. and I wanted some new ones, so I'm like, I so better So you gave all something. your old stuff to JJ. Yeah, I'm yeah. wearing it. <laughs> and, and it looks good. It yeah. looks good on me. Whatever you lost, I gained. So let's talk about uh, what I, I think a lot of people don't really think about, but there's credit can sometimes feel or be seasonal, right? Correct. So let's talk about the different seasons or how the different times of the year can impact someone's credit. Yeah, so it's uh, at the beginning of the year, what's everybody's New Year's resolution, right? I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to get a better job or make more money, and I'm going to fix my credit and finally buy that house or that car that I, that I yeah, really want. Yeah, pay off some bills, yeah, whatever. Exactly. That's, that's everybody's New Year's, New Year's resolution. But there's a lot of stuff that, that comes with that, and throughout the year, as your credit is uh, your credit's progressing, um, that, that you're going to you're going to encounter. So when you make that decision that it's time it's time to, to to fix your credit so you can buy, there's just a couple things to to watch for. So the first thing is going to be uh, income tax scams. You see all the time. All you'll see the IRS never calls you, right? They always they always mail mail letters out, uh, and that's something to really watch for in the first quarter. And the other thing is is collection agency agency scams, and they're they're a threat to people's to people's credit. So what happened? Get those calls. Yeah, I've got, and I talk to them because oh, I know yeah. it's a scam. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's actually like, um, kept and, them on the phone yeah. and, and harassed them. Back. Actually, my parents recently they got the call and they were a little worried. And I went over there and then I realized it was one of those scams. So I told me to was leave it us alone. The IRS people. It was the IRS. Yeah, very aggressive. Uh, the, they, yeah, yeah. They will. They will get you angry. They want you to fight with them. And, Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tax scams and you're looking for credit uh, and collection agency collection scams. agency scams. That's in the beginning of the year. Yeah. So what they do is uh, the the number one thing to watch for is a collection agency is going to go and buy a bunch of really old debt mm. and they're going to mail out collection letters that are on accounts that are 10, 15, 20 years old and they're going to offer you an awesome discount. Hey, pay this pay this off. We'll give you an 80% discount or a 90% discount, but everything you do is essentially flushing money. Mm. So that's my number one why? thing to why caution. Is, why why is it flushing money? Uh, because you're paying for that collection that it's not on your credit report anymore. They can't do anything to collect it and it's not even for the original creditor. So it's just somebody who's gone through and bought and collected all these really old debt pennies that's not worth anything. Fractions of pennies on the dollar. So you, don't ha- you don't have to pay the, you know, the seven CDs for one cent. And then oh, you got, they're yeah, still so after you, you me, can, dude. You can let it go, They're still <laughs> after me. So what happens in the spring? Like what is the, like now January, the first quarter is done. What happens in the, in the spring? What should we be looking out for at that point? So I always like to say spring cleaning. It's time to check your credit report. Um, I'm a believer that you should check your court, uh, your credit report monthly. Sure. Uh, but if you don't do it monthly, at least check it once a year. And the spring is a perfect time to uh, perfect time to review your report. Just to kind of see where you've been, if it's changed, if any new stuffs come on, or or dropped exactly. off. Make sure exactly. Make sure that you know everybody, uh, everybody that's on there, uh, and uh, and this reporting things. And also get ready for uh, get ready for your summer moves. Summer moves, yeah. So let's talk about that. So, in in the spring, because most people le- move between the, what May and August, mm-hmm. spring is probably the best time to really start to get that um, to to get your credit in order. Because even a fraction of of ten or fifteen points can either make or break someone's loan, or or better yet, it can actually you know get them better APRs or or even. Uh, mortgage insurance premiums and stuff like that. You're, you're definitely right. Like the the list of, of benefits of having of having good credit, especially when you're trying to move, it, it just goes it just goes on and on. Now, when you do that summer move, make sure that you're going through and you fill out a change of address with the post office mm. and go through all of your creditors individually and tell them tell them that you moved. The last thing you want is them deciding that they're going to send you a new card with a chip to your old address and somebody's able to get that uh, and to, to get your information. And quick takeaway, so what about the last quarters of the month? What are we looking for at that point? So in, in the last quarter of the, 
of the year, sorry. Uh, the last quarter of the year it is to buy the things that you need to buy. If you know that you're going to have to buy a TV coming up um, throughout the year, we tell people to hold off on those purchases and look for those Black Friday deals mm -hmm. and then put together a plan on how you're going to do your Christmas, uh, how you're going to do your Christmas shopping to not overspend and to stick to your budget using credit. Okay, so if I get maced by an older lady in the line on Black it's Friday, on it's, your fault. it's on you. It's on Adam. <laughs> I might laugh so hard. <laughs> That'd be totally worth it. <laughs> so last quarter, try to make your purchases. First quarter, look out for scams. And then the, the middle quarter, just, just get an update. See where you're at. Spring cleaning. It, spring cleaning, yep. Awesome. Thanks for these really good tidbits on how we should be looking at our, our credit. If you want to get some more information, you want or you know someone or yourself that needs to fix their credit or get the credit score up, contact Adam Hetrick with the credit repairman at thecreditrepairmen.com. Uh, call them at 5200444. That's 210-5200444. And they're located at 6989 Alamo Downs Park.